We're going to call the meeting of March 10th, 2022 to order. Jesse, take the roll call, please. Mary Cisniana. Here. Deputy Mayor Nepletani. Here. Council Member Joe. Here. Donlin. Here. Fisher. Here. The notice requirement for the open public being next to this meeting has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice sent to the Edward Park Press Coaster and posted in town hall and filed in the office of the municipal clerk on December 19th. What was it? December 9th, 2021. Uh, item for discussion. We have some various township projects. We have our engineer, Greg Glass, with us tonight. And Greg, you want to cover, uh, bring us up to speed here on the project? Sure. Yeah, the first item on my list is um, we got a, information from the county. They, we got their paving list, and West Park Avenue is going to be paved from Green Grove Road to Route 35 this year. Okay. That's kind of what we're, you know, they were going to do those temporary repairs and yeah. they got to them, but that is on their list to do that, which kind of dovetails into everything. The only thing I'm not sure about is I'm, I got to talk to them and make sure that widening is a part of that. Yeah. I'm sure it is, but I just want to double check that. Okay. Over by the matter over there? Yeah, because okay. there's one person there that was questioning that because that's not done yet. Right. But I will ask them about that. It sorry to stop you. Do you think, do they intend to put a traffic light in also, maybe, over by Hidden Meadows or no traffic light? No, you can't no, get a light there. No, can't get one. Dave, too close. I'm just yeah. asking the fire. <laughs> but there was a striping that was going to occur that was, okay. and the extra widening of the lane mm -hmm. was going to help that middle lane better to get in and out of Lynn Drive, you know, that whole yeah. section. Okay, great. Okay, second thing on the list was uh, Robert asked about the Amazon and the Tin Falls uh, project. The, they're located, that Amazon site is located behind the Walmart on 66. So all that traffic coming out of there is going to use Jumping Brook Road, which is a couple hundred yards. Will come out and if they're going to use the parkway, north and south is right there. If they're going to 18, they would take a left on 66 and go down to 66 and use that. The only wait, 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 I got the parkway, 66. 66 oh, right. Right. If they're going to, if they want to use 18, the only reason they would ever be in the in the, in the uh, residential neighborhoods is if they're coming from the north on the parkway to get there. You can get, you can't get off the parkway from the northbound side. You can, if you're coming going north, you can get off on 66 East. If you're coming from the north, traveling south, you okay, can't get off that. You got to, they got to come off at 102. As where they, you have. They had the river, and they would make that sharp right turn onto Jumping Brook, which is the other end of where the Amazon site is. So they will never ever be in, in um, ocean. There would be no reason for them to be unless they're lost. And I, I, I don't really, they don't really predict a lot of their trucks coming from the north right now off of the Parkway, so they're not really using 102 to get there. This was the conversation you had with them? Yeah, or with, you're their, just with their traffic oh, guy. Oh, yeah. okay. So most of their traffic will you be using 66 to get to 18. Okay. Uh, it makes sense yeah, in the way you explained it. There would be no reason yeah. for them to be north on Green Grove Road, like the same unless they're lost. Right. Uh, and even okay. if they're going between the two sites here and there, they would still come down 66 to get the, the one in Ocean. Okay. okay. Good. Okay. Um, this next item was the sidewalks on Wickapeco between Corley's and uh, Woods End. We've got that plan done. I just want to let you know I'm going to reach out to the one property owner where we're going to be trimming his trees and possibly taking them down. Those tall ones. Yeah, the tall pines. I just want to let him know we're going to be trimming those up just so he is aware of that. We'll reach out to him. Uh, next thing, the South Edgemere roadway failure. Um, we're still waiting to hear back from JCPNL, but I've got those out to bid for quotes right now. Those are due back on the 30th of March, and once we get those, we'll kind of push harder with the uh, JCPNL. There's already a plan in place that they have somewhat approved internally they just haven't told me that that's a good a go yet but i'm pretty sure that'll be a fine thing once we get to the point we have our bids okay. okay next item is 1515 logan uh, just an update the renovation project the, the work you know where we're going to take all the demo project take the walls out uh, that's out the bid is due the 23rd of this month so that's coming up pretty fast we also received the environmental reports from uh for the lead, the radon, the uh, mold, uh, all the other items inside of the building. The only hit that we've got, all, everything came back clean except for the, the lead test. There was two spots they found lead paint, but it's not a problem because it's sealed, it's painted over. So we just have to, I'll, I'll alert Public Works and Mike Pacheco, uh, anytime we do work in that building, we have to make sure we don't touch those walls or have lead being insulated. Right, so just leave those two walls alone at all costs. Okay, so we're looking pretty good there. Uh, next item was 12 Carberry. That's where we put that drainage and new headwall Wait, in. Wait, can we stay on 1515 for a second? Sure. Mm -hmm. So <coughs> we talked about HVAC. So is, who's, is that our guys? 
Is that going to be Mark? Your That's Mark. Well, okay. right now it's Mark, but I guess the next meeting we'll figure out what we're going to yeah, do. Yeah, we'll have something more for you in two weeks on that. Yeah. Okay. Because we have to meet next week. We're piling everything together. Mark gave me a thick copy review tomorrow or Monday of what we need to do. Okay. And are you comfortable with the responses coming back to 15 and getting the work done by the start of school? Yep. Okay. okay. Yeah, the only other test that we have, the only other uh, thing that has to be done from a testing point of view is the LSRP. He's the licensed soil guy. The outside testing and the inside testing, he has to do a test after we take the walls down. So he, But he's done all of his preliminary stuff and we're fine on the outside. He just has to wait till we take the walls down to do one final thing, and that's all for the school board and DCA and DEP because it's a school facility that's required to have an LSRP. He was that last report. Okay. So that's the only other testing that has to be done. But, yeah, I, I don't foresee a problem. Um, really the only thing that we could have a lead time on, oddly enough, <coughs> is the partition walls for the bathrooms because we use the fiberglass uh, plastic and those sometimes have a long lead time but we could always make fiber plywood ones if we need to for the meantime until those come in so we should we shouldn't have any problem getting everything done with the demo I mean the air conditioning could be another problem but we'll let you know that in two weeks okay okay next item was 12 car barrier we put the drainage in and head wall that project is complete we just need to do the restoration the neighbors were both happy with that Finally, mostly because it was out of their street. Uh, next thing, uh, item was uh, paving of BJ's jug handle. That is scheduled for early May. Wow. So that's coming up fast. And we would have done it. We, we found the money. It's just that we couldn't do it because of the weather. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is, I would tell you, that, um, <clears throat> I may hold that up if the oil prices keep going up because our, we, have, you know, we have an escalation clause in there for in increased pavement costs. So if it keeps going up, we may push that off maybe to the oil prices to level off or start coming back down a little bit but might be a while yeah know. but if, if it stays the same right now I mean if we're going up 50 cents a week yeah. you know I don't really want to take the chance where we would end up when he starts and finishes payment we can't get a price from the day he before he bids it so we'll know what the cost is and if it's within our budget we'll maybe just let him cut him loose because it's only going to take him two days so that that's but we'll probably end up doing that in early May okay. and just get it done <coughs> It's been so long, I feel like yeah. we should just get it done. Yeah, it's been a long yeah. time. That one, that one we're pushing for hard. Um, next thing is the Deal Country Club. The uh, rapid flashing beacons are done. They were installed this week. That's the cart cross path across yeah, Mama's Road. Good. Those are in. The only thing we have to take the extra signs down. We put the preliminary signs up, yeah. temporary signs up for when, because the cart was still them, crossing yeah. there, so we'll take those down. This, uh, we're going to try to get them down this week. But, uh, so those are solar powered? Yes. Yeah. So are they operating yet? Or yeah. 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 So they, they work at night or during, oh, I'm sorry, during the day? They're supposed to, it's for, they the, for the golfers yeah. during the day crossing, you know, mm -hmm. the cars. The club carts, yeah. I haven't noticed it. I yeah. didn't notice it the other day. I didn't notice it either. I'm thinking Actually, one they just drove right past them. Well, <laughs> do they only work when there's someone's crossing? Well, you, yeah, the, the, the sign is there physically, and the lights only work when somebody pushes them. So maybe I haven't seen anybody crossing because it's winter. You'll see it. It's there. Yeah, the play cards aren't out there yet. Get ready. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah, it's good. And it's like, that's one of the reasons we're pushing because the golf course has really been having a problem getting across the road. So now that that's there, mm -hmm. that's going to be getting a lot of their problems getting across there. Doesn't mean everybody's going to stop, but no, most people should. Just in time for summer. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next one is the Kepwell. Um, environmental reports are in, and we have no problems. We've got the. Uh, Internal reviews for the met mold met uh, sp uh, asbestos, and we got the outside reviews from the soils guy to phase one. So everything looks good there. And the last thing on my list was um, just kind of wanted to bring you up to speed on it. And I don't know if all of you know about the VFW Memorials moving. We're going to be putting it over behind the library. Um, I did a plan for that for them as, as a courtesy to them. Uh, they like it. We met with them last week. They like that. What they want to try to do their schedule is. They want to try to get that in before Memorial Day, mm -hmm. and then they'll dedicate it. It'll be up and running by Memorial Day, but they're going to dedicate it at Veterans Day. And so we're going to, town, we're going to put the concrete in for the base mm -hmm. of the, the uh, and then they're going to put pavers over that. And I'm going to put that in the road program because I'm pretty sure I got enough money left to put that little bit of concrete in there. Mm -hmm. So we'll get that thrown in, in the next couple of weeks. I just want to let you know that that's coming up fast. Behind the library? The library museum. Mm -hmm. It's kind of directly east of the library. It's a grassy area right now. In front of the water tower. 
Oh, okay. this is the only water pit's kind of like not directly in front of the water tower. It's a little to the right, that grass area. Is that where it was on the poster? Or is it well, originally we were going to try to do it at Palaya Park. Right. I know we had moved it there because it had the five star and everything. Just thought it was a better spot. Yeah, well, I think also because we put that uh, the, five. The, the, yeah, the gym thing there. The, uh, oh, yeah, or the gym workout uh, apparatus. Yeah, so that was all kind of infringed on that space. So we were going to put it right where that went. Okay. But, uh, in that area. They beat me there. Everybody good with the location and everything? Yeah, yeah. Listen, the fact that we're getting this thing, right that we're able to get them to keep it here in Ocean, yeah. was good because they moved their good. operations outside of Ocean. Mm -hmm. They were yeah. going to bring it to the Elks? And I asked, them, can we keep it here? You know, and they mm -hmm. would move it and everything. And it's, uh, we couldn't have paid to put one of those in. It's good. It's, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they pay for everything else. They're going to pay for all the, you know, the stuff around all the tables and yeah, the flag, was, the flag. Yeah. so we're just going to put the concrete base in which is probably better because then, we're, then we'll make sure it doesn't flood and have water problems yeah. and sink. eventually you'd like to get them back maybe if we get uh that building up next to the golf course yeah you know what i mean they yeah. can also use that yeah and, yeah that would be a good spot you know, the 19th that. hole yeah you know, operated as soon as we get 15 15 done <laughs> the 10th hole i mean the 10th yeah. hole that's yeah. Yeah. The 10th, yeah the 10th and the 19th yeah yeah, but the veterans are very happy about the project. So. Yeah, good. Any updates on the dredging of the ponds? Is that still in the, the, the testing we, we have, I just have to, there's a little caveat I ran into with funding. It's mm -hmm. there, but I just have to go over with our CFO to show him or kind of talk to him that it's there because I don't, I, I had another project where I incurred some bills and he wasn't aware that we were doing those. It was on 1515 Logan. So we're, I just want to make sure all the funding's in place because I don't want to have another problem. So it's going to take another week or so. Mm -hmm. The guy's ready to go. I just haven't cut him loose. Mm -hmm. So probably within the, before the next month, we'll, that'll probably be done. Mm -hmm. Which which ponds? Huh? Which ones? That's uh, Snell's so. pond. No, Snell's pond's already. No. Mm -hmm. Snell's on there. Snell's on there, and mm -hmm. also the Colonial Fire. Terrace. Fireman's pond's already done. So we're we're going to test Snell's pond and Colonial Terrace to see where where we are with our. Uh, arsenic levels is what I'm mostly concerned about. <coughs> <coughs> the fireman's pond's done, done testing. We didn't do any dredging. Right, just the testing right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dredging for all of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got a handful. And you have the funding for the dredging or just for yeah. the testing? Yeah, we have, uh, there's 250000 left in that account. Okay. And that's what, I, that's what I'm going to go over and that's where the testing has to come out of two to three for the testing. But yeah, that should cover our costing because we're going to get the county involved to help us dredge it, and we have a place on the golf course we're going to so put the spoils. It. So that was really the major, major cost of where to dispose of it. Pretty soon that fourth hole is going to be a tower. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, you won't have to worry about seeing. The, <laughs> It'll be a hill. Yeah, be like, like the eighth hole on Jumpy Brook. We yeah. <laughs> keep going up. Well, it's just the area between them. You're not going to be able to see there's any more golf course on the other side. Right. Of <laughs> we need more sledding spots in town anyway. Yeah, that so. would be a good spot for when we're done. <laughs> <laughs> All the way down to the pond. Right, right slide right into the pond. <laughs> right okay. into the pond. Yeah. That's all, nope, that's all I had. Okay. I got our sledding one. I got a bunch of Right after the Cross Island Parkway. <laughs> uh, what roads did we decide on for the speed humps? Oh, yeah. The, well, we, one was Bimbler, but we're gonna we're gonna talk to them because they remember at the meeting we had with them in County, they were talking about not putting it in. Right. So we we're gonna ask them to have their own little boat to whether they wanted it or not. The other one was on Lake, and I forget what the third one was. There was three we had decided to put in. Were we doing all that? I think Park Boulevard, no? Park Boulevard, no. Yeah, it was Park Boulevard, right by the park. Yeah. That was the three of them. Lake, Park Boulevard, and uh, Bimbler. So if Bimbler doesn't want it, what's fourth? No, we only had three we had picked. But if Bimbler doesn't want it? Oh, um, that would be up to you guys. I think there was like six or seven choices that we had originally. Yeah, we kind of, mm -hmm. with it. We kind of narrowed it down. To what's the your address, bro? No, I'm fine on my road. <laughs> 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 there. I mean, Lair was road. my first choice. Yeah, we, we didn't pick another one, but if you want, you want to go over all of them again, maybe next meeting I'll have the Can seven or eight that we kind of targeted. Great. Because I know the police were somewhat in favor, of, not in favor, but they kind of agreed with those seven locations right. also. So, all right, I'll, I'll bring that back to the list of all the next meeting. Yeah. Thanks. Hold on, I got a couple more. I think there or Sunset East of Wiki. Mm-hmm. Between Wikipedia and the bridge would be yeah. the right. spot. Um, did we get the speed limits on Monmouth taken care of? Have they approved that yet? No, they have because they've kind of tied up with the. They're waiting really to get done with the Bimbler study. They're just they're, they're traffic guys heavy into that right now because he's taking all the the speed testing on Bimbler right now before summer. He's going to take a load in the summer, but he has told me that we will be lowering that to 35. Okay. 
I just didn't want to push them too hard because I want to make sure we get Bimbler done. That's a little, mm -hmm. that's fairly important to us. Um, the bike lane on roller and rows. <coughs> yeah, that's going to be. Um, I was going to make that part of the 21 Pro program to strike that because we're going to put the crosswalks on Poplar. We're going to put the bike lane down Poplar, and that'll run right into um, roller. They roll it all the way down to that uh, dirt path, which we're going to make a stone path, and now cross into Sunset. So that's all coming as part of the 21 program. And you decide, because my notes said that you were determining what the best material was for that. Yeah, you know, we, we talked about the recycled concrete, but it was it, it really didn't wasn't too conducive for bikes because of the sharp edges. So, and I didn't want to pave it. So we're probably going to try to use some kind of a recycled asphalt okay. in there just to save us some money, just to keep the weeds down too. Um, bike line on Mammoth, you just told me about. Couple 5G ordinance. Yeah, that's here ready to go, but we kind of put that aside with all the other stuff going on. But yeah, I'm, uh, that's we should probably maybe discuss the next meeting because the only two major changes was just really the spacing of the poles and making the telephone company give us a plan for the whole town as opposed to coming in piecemeal. So why did we put it on hold? We just haven't we haven't talked about it. It just didn't come up. Let's do it next week. The yeah. only thing that I, I would one thing I would like to add to those networks when they put them in, they put bollards around the ones on what's on Deal Road rather. Mm -hmm. Need to green sleeve the bollards. Yeah. Like we have in the park. Yeah. I, I reached out to them. I haven't heard back from them because we talked about that last time. I also want to see if they'll put some landscaping on the on yeah. the sides, not on the roadside. But yeah, if you green sleeve them yeah. landscaping. Yeah. It'd be a hundred percent. Yeah, you wouldn't even notice them. Those ones in the park, those bollards are great. The ones that are green sleeve. Yeah, yeah. Blend into the landscape. Yeah. So, did we get a copy of that yet? I yeah, apologize he said, if he we sent did. It. You yeah. did? Yeah. yeah, I emailed it to everybody. Yeah, yeah we all talked about it. I, yeah, we all, we all decided we were going to get Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to put your block there. <laughs> I missed the email. I missed the email. I'm sure I got it. All right. <laughs> My son, <laughs> serve you? Yeah. Uh, so we'll discuss that next meeting, next workshop. Uh, uh, and the women's rooms at the um, pool? The women's bathroom, we're applying for a uh, grant for that uh, end of this month that we get to do. So applying. Plans are done, everything's done. I'll be sending that to the grant writer probably next week. Got it. Um, you mentioned, and I apologize which sidewalk you mentioned. I was looking up something. The side, so the roller, ro the metal, rolling meadow sidewalk, the one that goes to nowhere. You're going to finish that one. Oh yes, on West Park, on the, coming down to West Park off of uh, Oak Road. Right. Yeah, it actually, yeah, it, it comes across rolling meadows to the southern entrance. Right. We're going to bring that up to West Park. Yeah. Right. Okay. Park so that's already in the, that's in the plan. It'll be in the 21 program. Yeah. Got it. Hold on. Two more, I think. Even though nobody's walking over there. Well, I think one of the things well, for sure there's, is they. There's a they guy that owns that property there. He's going to develop it one day. Yeah. yeah. He should really start now. How much space is there? He's got several acres. Really? Yeah. Takes that whole corner. Everything you see there, that's. Yeah. That's his. Hmm. Yeah, I know Rolling Meadows was very pumped up on doing the sidewalks until they asked us if they had to maintain them. We said, yeah, it's on your property. And then they <laughs> kind of backed off a little bit. Because there's a lot of sidewalk there. Yeah, it's now. a huge sidewalk. Yeah. Um, we talked about a crosswalk on Whale Pond to Shadow Lawn. Two of them. Right. Yeah, we're going to put it north and south. That was also going to be part of the 21 program. We talked about that. No, last no, time. no. Whale Pond. <coughs> oh, Whale Pond. Yeah, Shadow that's, Lawn. That's in this year's road program. They just haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, so yeah. that, that's yeah. good. Okay. Yeah, they just didn't get to it for winter. Yeah, the other part, I know I've mentioned it before, to kind of complete that little section is a sidewalk from Elizabeth Street to the Saka House on Whale Pond. I yeah, the, the brook is right there. <clears throat> that's the problem. We can't get a sidewalk across there unless we move the, the, uh, the widen the culvert to well, get the. Not, not so much, I mean, that area maybe can stripe so they can get safely to the sidewalk in front of the other homes that are in the corner of Elizabeth mm -hmm. because they still walk out in the street and that neighborhood's very connected yeah. to that uh, community center back in there. You know, I'll have to revisit see the width I can get through. Maybe we can at least get a trail through there. We won't right. put a hard sidewalk. But there's definitely room for a sidewalk in there. I think there's two or three <coughs> properties that could still take a sidewalk. 
Yeah, it's just the, it's just the culvert crossing. <coughs> yeah, that, that part's a little tricky. Yeah, so I'll, I'll look at that and see. Maybe we'll just end the sidewalk and, like I say, put a dirt trail through there. It won't be handicapped accessible, but they can walk through there. Yeah. But. I think that was the reason why they wanted to cross so that they could get to Joe Pelé and come back. They'd have to cross twice. Right. But that was there was no crosswalk to get front shot of lawn back around. But that right. that would we could do that. That's great. Yeah. Really what we should be we'll doing. probably do both because I know a lot of people want to get to the park. From shot across there right. also. Yeah, you need a crosswalk anyway to get yeah. those right <coughs> into the festival. Yeah. Right. Fourth of July. But you really need a boy that neighborhood where Elizabeth is packed with people that come in, take shot lawn and to the back end of the community center. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but no, that will be done sometime probably before summer. summer. Okay. Thank you. I'm good. Thanks. Okay. Marjorie. There's anything else? No, I think there's Dave. Yeah. Okay. Well, All right, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you meant for the break or in general? <laughs> yeah, just in general. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so just a reminder, we have that GIF elected officials. There's only one council member that um, has taken it. Oh, only one state? I think it's a Why are you looking at me? So, Why are you looking at me? So we one, have I, I like two hundred and fifty dollars per. So Wait. we would like for all And we get a big on that, right? Mayor and council to take it. What, when is it? Um, it's it's online. online. It's ongoing now. <laughs> yep, it's online. It only takes about 20 minutes. No, it takes an hour. Easy. <laughs> oh. That's a lie. Okay, so yeah. it's at least he has an, taken it. So an it's okay. an hour. I wouldn't say it was a lie. I would say it was, it, it was incorrect. Where's Sorry, the it was link incorrect. I apologize. Can you send the link, Dave? Uh, yes. I'll have Tracy, Tracy resend the link. Thanks. Yeah. Writing and Rob, always getting ahead of things. You, can't, then, uh, <laughs> you can't fast forward it. And then so you know, he does it in one of the meetings he goes to. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's an opportunity where you can do it jointly, too, as well. But I think individually at your own time is probably the best. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll leave it at I'll have Tracy resend the link. Yep. Millennial Strategies. That was the workshop. Yes. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Millennial Strategies is up for renewal for their grant consulting. How we doing? Um, well, overall... They are currently actively writing five grants that are due for submission in the next two to four weeks, um, which it's picked up since since I came in. And they also have written four grants valued at a combined 168,000, wow. but it's all pending approval, so we haven't gotten we haven't anything. Gotten anything yet. Um, and from my opinion, I think, and from listening to the governing body, um, they do have another option. They have instead of the 3,000 a month option, they have a portal service. Right. Where myself and a designee can go in and monthly and check, or and the subscription is like 650 a month. And then if we need them, because most of the grants can be written uh, with our township engineer or department head, if we need them, they would charge us like 130 an hour to write maybe like one of the, the heavier grants. So Try that. Well, so I, that, that's my recommendation. I, why do we need the portal? The portal, because they do all the work. To find the grants, mm -hmm. Google. we don't we don't get notifications. Seriously, yeah. Google. Mm. Not with these state grants. Who's going to Google it? Yeah, and the look a lot of grants. Data. Well, if they're going on their portal, mm -hmm. we're still going on the portal to search. Why wouldn't we just search Google? Ser I'm being very serious, uh, Councilman. I understand that, but trust me, I've, I've yeah. used the portal in other places. It's it's much more efficient for a business stuff staff. we won't have access to. Right? Plus, yeah. uh, there's a lot. And you're not, you're going to miss something. I'm yeah. telling you. There's not a lot that wouldn't be on Google, but there are enough. But mostly what it does is it narrows down your time of going through things because they can be things that are specific to towns. Mm -hmm. You go on Google, you're getting things that are, you know, like for schools, for it's just overall funding that's all listed. Right? But if you go on their portal, they're going to list things like municipalities will go for, you know, these um, the, the electric cars, the everything that towns are doing everywhere. They sp specifically list those on their portal for you to pick from. 600 a month, you said? Six six fifty. fifty. You look, you're saving twenty three fifty. That's why well, I was trying to do the math in my head. Thanks, Marty. <laughs> I thought it was six hundred. That's why I already had the number in my head. All right, I'm sold. Thank you. Man. Okay. I'm good. I'll put that together. Adding and subtracting. That's it. Division and multiplication. Just, That's it. I don't want to interrupt, but um, nothing. Do you know what type of charger we have in front of town hall? Is it a class type, three? Type two. Type, type two. two. Yes, type two. Somebody asked me that question the other day. It's I had good. no idea yeah. what that was about. So it's a type two. Type two. Yeah. Type three is the one that's a little more oomph. Yeah, well, the type yeah type two takes it's like a trickle charge. Yeah. And that's kind of what we want. We don't want people here parking to get recharged. They're going to gain what they lost to get here. But yeah, the type three is a 20 minute charge, full charge on the battery. Yeah. And that takes a lot more power and a whole lot more electric service than we have. 
Now, do people have to swipe a card to use that thing? No. They just well, plug in, that's it. Really? Or yeah, we free. cannot charge for electricity. We can't resell electricity. So when we put those in, we discuss this. The only way you could really do that is you'd have to charge for a parking space. And at the time, it was decided that we didn't want to charge for the parking spaces. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a minimal mm -hmm. so until we found out the guy across the street was parking his car. Well, that's, yeah. Yeah. somebody was parked there overnight a yeah. couple of times last yeah. summer. <laughs> and we put a, a timer on it so it turns off at night. So if you do this on this at a, at a service station, you got to swipe some kind of card, I think. To pay this, yeah, the service for yeah. it. They, they probably charge you for the equipment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we're getting the equipment is for a grant. Gotcha. Yeah, so, if it's, yeah, yeah. so we, we can't. Interesting. But when we, we're looking at grants now, that's one of the things we're looking at is putting in the Type 3s for our municipal vehicles. You know, we'll probably put the, to the, the trickle chargers on the people, like the inspectors and whatnot, that only need the car for six or seven hours and can charge it all night. Mm -hmm. But for, like, the police and all that, we'll they have the Type 3s because they come in while the change is shift, the car will totally charge back up and go back on the road. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're looking into that. All right. Thanks. Okay. So, um, last but not least, uh, revised tree ordinance. Mm -hmm. Marty, you had sent us an email around. I just wanted to make sure we address this tonight mm -hmm. uh, regarding... Um, well, that was the penalties? Yes, the penalties. So I think they were asking for a much higher, I want to say they, they had a the tree tree commission. Yeah, they yeah. had like a $10,000 penalty and they had a, I can't remember what the other one was. Yeah, so the maximum fine allowed is 2000 Right. Uh, and I believe that ordinance is on the season, right? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I want to make sure the, Well, no, the tree ordinance is on. Not the tree the, ordinance, but this ordinance yeah. uh, right. allowing for the maximum Please. fine permitted by law. And then was there another issue in there too, Marty? It was something about language? Oh, well, they had a language around. at the end, you know, which, I, you know, it's one thing to say, you know, oftentimes if, if somebody's oh. operating without a CO, each day is a separate it. violation. Mm -hmm. And it just seemed a little unusual when we're talking about, about this, uh, you know, that each day is a, you know, they didn't, you know, get a tree, tree uh, the right permit, whatever. That each day maybe can't be a separate violation, but there was there were two different provisions, uh, and I can't remember right now that added uh, penalties. So can't just can't be done, or we shouldn't do it. Just to be clear. Well, I'm just I, I was trying to figure out what exactly that meant. That you know you didn't get a, a permit to take down a tree. So. Oh, and the tree's down already. The tree's now. down. So now what? How you know, how can each day be another violation? I don't know. It doesn't. And that violation is probably taken from the building codes for people. No, no, I understand that. Yeah. Right. Like, you know, if, you, if, you don't, if you're operating without a CO, yeah. right. and, you know, they give you a ticket, you know, every, it's like... Every the, day, every day. Right. Because that's a safety issue. But, yeah, right. this, this would be once it's down. Yeah, I think once the tree's down, it's down. And then, yeah. mm -hmm. But there was a second provision on the damages there that actually did make sense. That's your email. But, so. Yeah, I'm looking. Yeah, I wrote something? Look at yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> you said, uh, also, give me... Okay. I, I actually didn't comment on the other one because I guess I, that made sense to me. Um, and we're re it's three trees in five years, but you still have to get the permit, right? So that we can yeah. keep. Okay. Good. I mean, that's that's up to them. <laughs> you know, in terms of whether that makes sense and that's enough and that's what it's a lot less than right, especially for us. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a lot at all. You got a pool already? No. Oh. <laughs> you got a pool? And then, well, mm -hmm. pool's got a different exemption. He right? does, but we have a forest out there. Yeah, this is just relation to uh, trees. Tree, tree, tree clear. Tree well, not arbitrary to take down, but you buy a house an hour. and you decide you're, you're okay to put a deck or a pool in the back. You want to do that. You go pull up your permits and you're able to do that if there's trees there. Yeah, anywhere in the construction area is eliminated yeah. from that. You can remove it's trees. It's eliminated from that. footprint of yeah. the construction. You still got to get a permit and, and pay for it? Place, don't do it. You don't have to pay for it, but you have to get the permits through the building department. They, to, they, to they do look at the trees that are in that footprint, and those are exempt from the fees. But you, there's, you have, I think there's a certain fee you pay, I think, it's for the first mm -hmm. two or three trees. You have to either put to the shade tree fund or put a tree somewhere else in the yard. Mm -hmm. But I think it, after the first two, it's, it's the free the footprint of the construction. I'm not positive of that. But, right. Well, we should probably but know what that ordinance this says. This yeah. doesn't preclude you from putting a pool or a deck right. in. Right. You can still do that outside of the five trees, three trees in five years. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, this I is think that's the main tree. thing. We're trying yeah, to preserve and, and trees from arbitrarily system. being knocked down around the property. But if somebody has a, a goal in mind, you know, paying a million dollars or more 
Chrome, you should be able to to do what you want back there within reason, it's within our ordinance. Mm -hmm. So that they're still allowed to do that. So just to be clear, if they had to knock twenty tree down twenty trees down to put a pool in they're exempt. It's not it's not this ordinance. Yeah, this ordinance is yeah, where somebody wants to knock twenty trees yeah. down for just gonna take twenty trees down. Why aren't they tied together? I mean, well, if we want to save the trees, why aren't they tied? I get your real estate issue. I don't yeah. want to try. No, but you, got we should, we, you know what? I mean, right, I think the answer is we need to just see yeah. what that ordinance says yeah. Yeah. to make yeah. sure there's not an inconsistency. I don't have anything to do with either. I'm not trying to. No, no, no. No, I appreciate you bringing do, it up. You probably do want to merge the two. Right. What, is, what is that ordinance? Well, the again? one scenario is this uh, is more of a building, it goes to community development. Right. If I just walk outside and say, well, this tree, I want to move some trees around. I get it. I'm not building anything. I, I get it. That kind of goes through public works. I get and it. Shade tree commission. I get right. it. I, I just they, think but they should be the same. We should know what the other right. ordinance yeah. is and what the, what we're talking about. <coughs> and it's I believe one regulated, but it should be where, which department do you go to? Yeah. Which is what. And yeah. Councilwoman, I believe, when I'm talking to Shade Tree Commission, uh, Norm and Ken, mm -hmm. they basically said once they get this one passed, they're going to look at that one next. Oh, right. So that's right. next on radar. So just give us a heads up. Let, let's yeah. see that ordinance. Yeah, let's just so I that. know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah. And ordinance. make sure they're consistent at this point before they change it. And that's, okay. that's it's more looking. than likely still at the old 350 fee. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many trees regular it's two or more. Yeah. Well, they all yeah. have something, but I'll, I'll I just bring want that you guys to know week. that. Good. I mean, you Thank should you. be aware of that. Right. Yeah. I want you guys thinking it only take three trees down in five years. So you can't put a pool or deck on or an addition. Mm -hmm. No, can. no, you can take more trees down. It was just you'd, you'd pay, you know, or you plant. You know, right. that was the idea. Well, we're going to see. We're going to revisit I'll, that one. I'll bring Shade Tree wants to revise yeah. that portion of the ordinance. They can bring a suggestion to us and we'll look at it. Mm -hmm. Send me a copy of it to me if, if you find it before me, and you probably will be finding it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Were there other the points? Other in, may, oh, I'm sorry. So, were there other points that you had brought up that you wanted to look at? You said some minor Not from points. a legal perspective. No. Okay. Right. And Mayor, that that's it. My other item is for uh, executive session redevelopment agreement regarding uh, Deal Road 35. Okay. Jack, did you want me to say anything? Um, no, it's good to see you all again. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you. See you. Thank you for coming to our town. Look at the right things. And as uh, Tony Mitchell says, you don't want to pay a paradise for putting a parking lot. Do 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 do. I know that song. He was there when she wrote it. La last song, uh, I think first song. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, so if, you, if, if you're going around, I, I thought those before was questions for Greg, but I do have Where's one more. The clock? <laughs> Come on, we got an hour and a half. I'm looking, for, I'm looking to kill Tom. <laughs> yeah, but we don't want to give you an hour and 15. No, I got one. So we discussed benches. It's $400. Did we decide if we're opening it up to anybody? I think we said that last week. I don't remember last what we decided. Night. I yes. think we kind of have to. Yes, and I've already asked Tracy to post it on the website. Yeah, maybe like a post. But I, I would say. Mark, but not an here, Everybody said we can do other parks. In the interest of room, I would. Limit it to 100. 100? 100 limit, more benches? Yes. I would limit it to that. Oh, shit. You think you're really going to get that many? You yeah. may. Yeah. Really? You don't want to get 150 and you have no place to put them. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. I mean, I think you can. You don't think we find 100 spots? We'd have to relook again. I mean, you could. It depends how clustered you want these things. You know, want the little serenity about it. And you want it to be a place they can reflect or sit and relax. I mean, but. Right now, Play a Park has quite a few a lot of benches, clustered right? together. Yeah. You're right. running out of space to have. You don't want to ruin the environment or the look of it. Let's put some bleachers up. <laughs> so we'll be right. Would you say that? Bleachers. Bleachers. Right. So, you bleacher. know, but there's, there's a certain look you want for also. <laughs> Just your bleacher. You want to keep that bucolic feel uh, when you're out there. Right. I think, uh, you know, because now you're going to grow out of Play a Park and go into, which I don't mind it. Uh, Dave DeRouge Park or Fireman's Field, both of them, you know, want a massive end or Oakhurst. Mm -hmm. But just be mindful of it, you know. Mm -hmm. You may get a big demand for it. You might want to have a limit on each tranche of benches and then say, hey, you're on the next tranche. Right now we got 20. And we could do 20. Yeah. Did we put new benches in Player Park recently? No, we're ordered, Mark ordered about. That many right now. Mm -hmm. No, no, because I we just walked there the other day. I said, I remember this many benches being here. Right? There were like two, like you said, two you might have together. Replaced them, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot had been put in a 
10 years ago. Do we uh, still have a tree program where you can pay for a tree and get a little plaque? Does that still exist? Well, there's some old ones over at um, Dave DeRue's Park and some other parks. And Larkin yeah, over there. Yeah. The, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the Fireman's Field. So you can still, if you can find a place for those, be a good use of shade tree money to plant. And then you can sell the placard also as a memorial. Yeah. That's what those were. We can sell them on top of the golf course between the 4th and the 16th. <laughs> <laughs> After we get done putting all the dirt in there. Right. Anyway. What else, Ron? I'm good, thank you. Oh, okay. That was it, just the one. Anybody else? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If nobody else has it, I think we should go back to Rob. Yeah, I got something for close. Right. Or I'll think of something. All right, Jack, then I'm going to get into the close. <laughs> yeah. So we're at section you eight stay? of the uh, public I meeting. He wants me to stay for the first one. <laughs> Permits the exclusion of the public from the meeting. Circumstances exist. <laughs> the public's of the body and the We're inviting you to leave. <laughs> Being resolved, Township Ocean <laughs> Council, along with County, the public shall be excluded from discussion and action of hearing up for specified matters. The general yeah, nature sure. of the subject matter to be discussed are C1 litigation, C2 personnel, and C3 other litigation. All in favor? Aye. 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 Now in closed session. All right, let's go. All good. All right, we're going to call the meeting of March 10th, 2022 to order. Jackie, can I have the roll call, please? Jess. Oh, Jess. He said Jess. Don't <laughs> Mayor Siciliano. All right. Go ahead, Jess. Mayor Siciliano. Here. Deputy Mayor Napoletani. Here. Council Member Chera. Here. Donlin. Here. Fisher. Here. Everybody, please rise for a pledge of allegiance and then please remain standing for a moment of silent prayer thereafter. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. The notice requirement for the Open Public Meeting Act has been satisfied. A copy of the annual notice was sent to the Asbury Park Press Coaster and posted in Town Hall and filed in the office of the Municipal Clerk on December 9th, 2021. There are two exits, one to my left, which will meander down the hall and bring you to the parking lot, and one to my right, which will bring you out to the front parking lot. If you have a phone, we ask that you turn it off. All meetings are taped and archived. and. The ambient noise from your phone will interfere with our recordings. If you have to make a call or take a call, kindly go out into the hallway far enough away from the door so we don't hear you. Okay. Before we get started here with our meeting, I'm going to ask the council members if they have any reports. John, you have anything? No report. Okay. March? No report tonight. Okay. Dave? Yeah, I just want to thank the Historical Society last night for hosting uh, Manager Dave Brown's uh, reception last night every time i think i you know i've lived here my whole life and every time i think i know everything about ocean township i realize i don't know much so thank you you did a, a great job and it's a, it's a really nice resource that this township has so i encourage everyone to go check that out at some point rob i uh, would like to thank or congratulate all the uh award winners for the chamber of commerce luncheon that we had this past tuesday uh, had over 100 people show up, uh, hosted over at uh, Falco's, the Renaissance. Uh, we gave out five scholarships and awarded uh, numerous um, township awards for uh, various things. Italian American won for a legacy organization. Bevan Urban won for a uh, uh, contribution to the town, legacy, I think we called it. Uh, Christine Hanlon won uh, as well as county clerk. Um, urgent care, I hope I got the right one. Yes, urgent care. And there was one more, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but uh, fantastic turnout. The Chamber of Commerce is back very strong and growing. So if there are any uh, businesses in towns that, town that are looking to join, please call the Chamber. Thank Great. you, Mayor. Great while. Dave? Thanks, Mayor. I just want to uh, echo Councilman Fisher's uh, congratulations and thanks to the Historical Museum and, and thank them uh, on behalf of myself and my wife for having us there for a reception uh, yesterday. And uh, we were well received and we thank you for the hospitality. Very nice. Marty? I joined with the uh, statements made by Dave and it was nice to actually meet our my new manager. Uh, and also uh, the Chamber of Commerce event was a terrific event. And uh, 
very, uh, very important uh, place, community, and the business community, I think, is well represented by the chamber. So join if you have a business in town. You have a lot of experience there, I know. I do. Also, I just want to uh, remind you, tomorrow is our annual St. Paddy's Day Affair. We brought it back after a few years of arrest. It's over at the Renaissance. It starts at 6, I believe, 6 o'clock. Six. It's $35 at the door. Still some room. I know we have over 150 people, Irish dancers, all the beer, soda, and whatever you can try to fit down there, and corned beef sandwiches, and even stuff if you don't want to eat the meat on Friday. You're, we have special dispensation from Father Sheridan. So come and join us, Irish dancers. You'll have a lot of fun. Our honoree of the year this year is Mr. Pat Barrett Jr. with over 50 plus years of service to the Juan Massa Fire Department. So we're glad to honor him. Okay. The purpose of this public portion is to solely ask questions, understand resolutions that appear on the, on the agenda and is not an occasion for a public hearing, not an ordinance. Of course, all questions not related to an item on the agenda, which or the resolutions or the vouchers, you'll have an opportunity at the end of the meeting to be heard and when we call for uh, the public portion there. So at this time, does anybody from the public have any questions as to what appears on the consent agenda and or vouchers? If you do, you're going to come up, state your name and address for the record, and be mindful that we do have our courtesy clock here to keep folks uh, in line here with our time frame. We have about five minutes uh, maximum time at the microphone to give everybody else an opportunity to speak. Okay. Anybody have anything? Nope. Seeing or hearing no one, someone please offer the consent agenda in the minutes. I'll offer. Okay. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. Also, we have resolutions 22056 through 2260. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliano? Yes. For individual action, we have vouchers in the amount of $14,120,728.73. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. A Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. And for resolutions, individual action, we have 2261. Authorize Ocean Township Police Department to participate in the Defense Logistics Agency Law Enforcement Support Office 1033 program. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. And 2262, authorize the execution of a rental agreement between the Township of Ocean and the Board of Ed for the use of three 54-passenger school buses for the 2022 Summer Rec Program at a cost not to exceed $4,500. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 2263, authorize a shared service agreement between Long Branch and the Township of Ocean for municipal pool operations and lifeguard services for a period of May 28, 22 through September 5th, 22, at a cost not to exceed 155000 Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. We're glad to enter into this agreement with them because it was a cost of a lot more and was a lot less reliable than what we're going to get. Okay, 2264. Authorize a professional service contract with Civil Solutions, a division of Adams Rim. Hegan Associates, Inc., for 2022 sanitary sewer system mapping at a cost not to exceed 15000 Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. 2065, authorize a professional service contract with Leon S. Slovakian, Inc., engineering services related to bathroom renovations at 1515 Logan Road. At a cost not to exceed forty-five thousand. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donna? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. Twenty two sixty six. Amending the temporary appropriations for twenty twenty two. Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Siciliana? Yes. In twenty sixty seven authorizing a transfer of appropriations. In the calendar year 2021 budget, 
Someone please offer. I'll offer. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Neblatani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. Tonight we have, for introduction only, three ordinances. Ordinance number 2378. Jesse, would you read the title, please? Ordinance number 2378, an ordinance establishing a cap bank for the year 2022 in accordance with NJSA 40A colon 4-45.14. Great. Someone please introduce ordinance 2378. I'll introduce Ordinance 2378. Second. I'll second. Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes, that'll have its public hearing at the 324 meeting. Also, Ordinance 2379. Jesse, would you read the title, please? Ordinance 2379, an ordinance amending and supplementing Chapter 21 of the Comprehensive Land Development Ordinance, Article 7, Subsection 21-65, violations and penalties okay someone please introduce ordinance 2379 i'll introduce ordinance 2379 second i'll second achera yes donlin yes fisher yes napolitani yes Cisliana. yes and that too will have its public hearing at the march 24th meeting and finally ordinance 2380 jesse would you read the title ordinance 2380 an ordinance to amend chapter 12 of an ordinance entitled Revised General Ordinances of the Township of Ocean, 1965, Establishing a Speed Limit. Great. Someone please introduce 2380. I'll introduce Ordinance 2380. Second. Second. Pachera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Um, Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. And that too will have its public hearing on the 24th. At this time, we're going to open up to public comments. Again, be mindful we have a clock. We're five minutes maximum floor time. If you have anything germane to Ocean Township, now would be the time to come up to the microphone, state your name and address for the record. Adjusting speed limits and requesting speed limit adjustments in some areas of town that may require it, and uh, the studies being done. And so we're gathering the info, and then we'll be able to put something together on the ordinance uh, at the next hearing, at the next meeting. We'll introduce. Uh, was deal on the study? I don't think so. No, Monmouth. Yeah. Monmouth. Monmouth Road was the uh, main character. Federal and Jackie. No, not on. No. Stop the clock. Tom's going to yell at me down here. I think he's texting me. Yeah. Yep. Who's that? Let's stop. Reset. Is there a pause? There you go. <laughs> now you hear me. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. Were you talking? Did you oh. Huh? So the question was regarding Ordinance 2380 from the floor. Her mic wasn't on. Wanted to know what roads were included in our study for the speed limit, revised uh, establishing speed limits. And so we were, we discussed that it was Mammoth Road is uh, one of the roads that were on there. And I don't know, Dave, if the study was extended any further. Mr. Brown? You know? No, I'm looking now, Mayor, and... Um it's a park boulevard okay both directions speed limit 30 miles per hour uh, entire length there you go and what, and what inspired that change i'd have to talk to the police department but something must do uh it's a wide road it's a cut through road connects logan and wikipeco mm -hmm. and it's an often used uh alternative to sunset and so I they think, speed through yeah the neighbors there and there's a park right there so i think the excessive speeding probably triggered that where is the house that has a car has been, you know, crashed into it a couple of times? Oh, that's in, at the end of town. That's over Colonial Terrace. That's part of our jurisdiction as yeah. well, though, yeah, right? Yeah, that's the very corner of Ocean and Asbury Park. And what's the speed limit on that road, do you know? It's Wicapaco Drive. I believe it's 30 there at that section. So it probably has to be slowed down as well. Yeah. So anyway, though, I'm very appreciative that the speed sign is back in front of our house. On Deal Road, it really does make a difference. I was waiting a little bit. I was on the phone, and most people right now, when they go by it, are going 30. So that's really terrific. Thank you. Good. 
Um, uh, yeah, no, because I think in terms of the speed limit um, for consideration, I think around the park, mm -hmm. the, the, the boundary of Joe Playa Park should definitely be 30, uh, if, not, if not less, in terms of not, doesn't have to be all a deal road. Uh, or, or all of Whale Pond, but I do think uh, it's kind of crazy. Whale Pond, when you first turn at one point at West Park, it is 30-something, and then as soon as you get to the park, one of the main areas where I see, see deer cross, where there's a driveway into the park where the kids go to the ballpark, uh, it goes back up to 40. Exactly. Do it the other way. It's from Deal to about Freehold, it's 40, and then it's 35 going the other way, further down. Right. I was, I was Got it. driving right. the other way, but, but you you, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, point's right. the same. <laughs> Okay. I'm sorry. I thought you had it backwards. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No. So I. Anyway, I just one of my main um, uh, concerns, which I brought up several times, is just the speed limit around the park because of the activity and it being a park now in New Jersey traffic uh, recommendations, unless otherwise posted, is 25 miles an hour around a park. So and residential. It says residential or park. And I know Deal Road is a busy residential road, but as far as I know, it is still zoned residential. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, okay, the other thing I wanted to ask about was, um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited that we're buying some open space over in Wayside, I think that's great. Is that deal complete already? That deal I is, mean, is that happening? Yeah, we're, we're in our due diligence period. Uh, so you don't know yet what we're, what we we're spending on it? Well, we do know what we're spending on the purchase. We don't, we're still gathering what we're going to spend total for, you know, future use, but It'll be minimal, and then each year we can add to it as a capital improvement. But very well, well worthwhile project. So, aren't you, aren't you going to pretty much just keep it clean and we're going to use it for recreation, right? Yeah, yeah. but we make it another park, like yeah. park grounds. Yeah, there'll be a small playground there that someone's actually donating to us, which is great. So, okay. our expenditures are minimal. And so you don't know yet what you what I guess what one of the things I feel that it would be nice if there was a little more transparency in terms of our speed limit um, our budgets what we have in the um, because a percentage of our taxes is going towards open space so how much that's in your bill it's in your tax bill it's in our tax bill what's yeah. going but the total what we've collected yeah. it is there it's oh part okay. of, it's part of the uh, if I may mayor yeah. It's, it's part of the um, introduced and adopted budget as well. I'll have to look at it because I, I didn't notice that it says open space. I, I thought it was just, so it's not what we individually are so putting Jackie, in, it's what we're doing. That was your notification about your five minute time for the microphone. Yeah, there's nobody. I mean, I'm happy to go down and come back up again. I have a couple other no, things well, to address. It's going to be, it's not like that. You get, gather your thoughts, bring everything up. Or, Okay, what if it, try well, to, we're trying to get people to condense it to five. Well, minutes. I know, I understand that. Yeah, and my, my questions originally stuff. were that, but then I wanted to ask about your ordinance, what was going on with that, and to okay. pay some compliments. But I didn't really, so I used, I sh I used some of my uh, time with giving Mr. Brown a compliment for seeing that through. Okay, so, we'll so give me a couple you, more we'll seconds. I'll let you finish, sure. So, um, anyway, the other thing was I wanted to ask um, at the last meeting, uh, a gentleman came up and was curious, he asked, I guess, Mr. Arbus how much the litigation that's pending still on the 32-acre project was costing the town. Were you able to find out for him what that's costing? No, and the bottom line is, you know, I understood his question as to how much the litigations, plural, had cost the town, because uh, obviously we had the lawsuit about the uh, change in the zoning, mm -hmm. and then the lawsuit now that's still pending about the planning board approval. Uh, the planning board, the first lawsuit, I represented the town and Sandy Brown represented the planning board, so I don't know what... Uh, that was with Stop and Shop? No. no. Okay. Your lawsuit challenging the, first one. Okay. the, the, the zone. zone. Got it. You sued the planning board and you sued the town. No, I know. I didn't know. I thought you were doing so collectively. So I can tell you that probably the cost, you know, if you wanted to know the cost for that... No, he wanted to know. Yeah, he, he wanted, he wanted so to know. With, Okay. I mean, if you want to know, I'll tell you, but I mean, I'm not sure of the number. I know what my number is for a part of it, because until it was separated out, it was billed under Ocean General, it becomes very then difficult to track what the bill was for that. But I would guesstimate between the two litigations that uh, have been filed, probably the cost are somewhere between seventy-five and $100,000. 75 and 100000 I would guess. I mean, I don't know. 
Yeah, because I think, I mean, there it doesn't seem like there's been a lot of activity going back and forth. And it seems like the judge has been sitting, not sitting well, on it, but clearly nothing considering it for, since for some you've time. Argued, since you've argued the case, yes, there's nothing going on since that time. So that money would have been billed before. Right. So nothing, nothing new. And then in terms of the um, open space account for the Shade Tree Fund, um, where can we get the amount of that? What, how much money is in that now? And has the developer put all of their money into that at this point? Have or is every developer paid up? You know, with the uh, if there's a balance from them, I know they had to put a big. Can, can you just clarify? Because you said shade tree. And well, there's two. Developer. There's two. There's open yeah. space uh, mm -hmm. budget that which I'm. Uh, I assume just comes from our taxes, the open yeah, space, open space correct? is asunder from the shade tree money. But the money's collected from when someone takes a tree down. That's shade that's tree. Fund, yeah, that's shade tree. Right. That's a separate account. Right. Ours goes for whatever open space is available. We have a kitty to, to per make a purchase well, Open on space it. is different. That's what we put in there a few years ago. So we that we voted on. No, I, right, I, that I understand. Purchase is kept well. And I think what's just not clear to me in terms of the developers, when they give the money, it goes into the shade tree, right, not correct, open correct. space. So um, I guess my question is, how can I find out what our budget is at this time on the shade tree? And um, are all the developers that have taken trees already completely paid up? No. Really how how would I find that out? Yeah, I, I think it's about a uh, couple hundred thousand in shade tree. And I believe all developers are paid Cover. up to date. They've all paid up to date. Yeah. So well, I can I, go. So because when I've asked at the shade tree meeting, sometimes they don't have a. Uh, they didn't have a. I will, an I amount. So I sure. could ask you, then, Mr. Brown, when yeah. I'm not on the clock. But no, but this is good. Yeah, yeah. You well, call clock's me over. Anytime. You call me anytime. Or email me. The okay. Day. Okay. Good. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Anybody man. else? Anything germane to the township business? Step up to the microphone and state your name and address for the record. And be mindful that Rob is going to start the clock again. And Diane, go. Sir. <clears throat> Diane Sarmont, 192 Oakers Road. So first I'm going to ask a question, but I'm hoping the answer doesn't chew up too much of my five minutes. Okay. <laughs> what is the status of the, of the uh, tree ordinance? Oh, outstanding question. Good question. So it's in uh, final revision. I think we have settled on a uh, final plan, and it should be introduced at the next meeting? Yes. 24th? Be introduced at well, the an introduction week. at the 24th. Okay. Because oh. um, I just want, I have this whole thing with quotes from the UN about global warming and carbon sinks and large trees, but I'm going to skip all that, and I just want to talk about my neighborhood. So I live on the corner of Oakhurst and Wells, in the heart of Oakhurst, and if I stand on my corner, I can point to you where 25 oak trees in excess of a foot and a half in diameter have come down in the last two and a half years. Mm -hmm. So what's happened in this two years, whatever amount of time, that people have been waiting for the ordinance to go through, and it happened just this week in my neighborhood, which is why I'm here tonight. New people bought a house two doors down from me, have no plans to live in it. They're going to use it as a rental for a few years until they're ready to live in it. But they took down a whole swath of trees in the backyard because they don't want to get caught not being able to do it when the ordinance is approved. So it's really been like open season. No, Diane, you know there's a tree ordinance in place right now Is that's there? pretty restrictive. Yeah. There yeah. always has been. Absolutely. In fact, yeah. we redid that tree ordinance about 12 years ago. Then how are people, my neighbors diagonally across the street yeah. have taken down eight large trees and all the underbrush because in the Because you, you can take a tree down. You have a restriction now of three trees a year without a permit. Depends how many you have. If you have less than five, then you have to go for a permit of one a year. So, I mean, that's pretty restrictive. However, if you need to put a pool or a deck and it's within the setbacks and you fit into a building envelope, those trees are exempt from the tree exemption. And that will be true with the next ordinance. So but, I, I think the, but the important thing is that there is a tree ordinance now in effect. So if they took down eight trees that would be, you know, that were not for the purpose Definitely of construction. Well, they didn't take them all down at the same time. Right. Okay. Well, but if they were done within a, within a year, because yeah. you can only take down three or whatever. Well, the bottom line is maybe they they might have paid. I mean, maybe they paid. Maybe they got a permit. I don't know. Okay, there, you can there, look it up. It's not as restrictive as this one's going to be, but there okay, is. because it's it's really changed the character of the neighborhood. I agree. It's it's a disaster. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no sidewalks in my neighborhood. So when we're walking and we're walking the dog, we're walking on asphalt. It is not shady anymore in my neighborhood. It is hot. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really been a problem. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I would just encourage you to take some of that shade tree money 
and put that back into the town. I mean, I don't, uh, you know, what's the point of having that money in the account if you're right. not going to spend it? Agreed. So I have 100%. a number of suggestions about great places you can spend the money. Like, number one, who controls the land behind the senior housing off of Roosevelt, that where those all those buildings were demolished? CSI Corporation. Well, we oh, own the we own the land back there, the nine acres we own. Okay, so that would be a great place, I think, to sort of reforest and okay. plant some trees. Um, what about the land on Brookside? That's Blue Acres, where all those houses that's us. came down. That's all. Okay, us. that's another great place to put some oak trees. And you took the houses down. You want to make that have a, a positive environmental impact. Planting oak trees is going to be the best way to do that. Good. So instead of sitting on that money. You know, here's some ways you can spend that money. Just a great question, if I can. If you, great suggestion. Mm -hmm. Did you do the homework? Are we allowed to do that on Blue Acres? I don't know the answer. I don't know. You just said you own the land. Well, yeah, there's there's restrictive there's covenants, restrictions because but okay. I don't think planting yeah, is. Pro it sounds like we could. Prohibitive. I'm just curious okay. if you have I'm, not, I'm not sure. Yeah. But the, okay. but the Shade Tree Commission would. Yeah. Do that, right? Been asking them to give me uh, a plan. Maybe you can come to a shade tree. Like that. Like, I would shade say go to a shade meeting. tree meeting. Okay. Go and to you a shade can, tree meeting. You can make those recommendations. Okay. They're all good. Okay. Yeah. Listen, I would go as far as replanting street trees, but we've come to realize that their surface roots, a lot of them, they're very hard to control, and they wind up heaving the street and the sidewalk. So we got I know, away from I, doing I, that. I see them doing it in Deal and Asbury Park, and it looks great in Deal mm -hmm. and Asbury Park. Yeah. And come to a shade tree meeting really, on a, it's a Thursday night, usually the first Thursday of the month. Okay. And is it in so here? It's on Zoom still. So oh. you can log on. Um, it's The meeting is on the township website, okay. so it'll give you a link. Okay. Do you, or is someone from the council attend that? Yep. I we have, we have liaisons Great. all the time. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank thanks, Diane. Thank Anybody else? Huh? All right. Seeing and hearing no one, so we'll make a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Achera? Yes. Donlin? Yes. Fisher? Yes. Napolitani? Yes. Cisliana? Yes. Meet and adjourn. Thank you all for joining us. We appreciate your comments. And we appear twice a day on TV 77 and Files 22. And we're on YouTube immediately following the meeting. Good night, everybody.